another day in work is about to begin! We have so much to cover today! We have dramatic changes on GNOME Shell, we have an interview with the lead designer, and so we better start! But first a flashback to see where everything begun! Year 2011 and the initial GNOME 3.0 release, and on user menu we had only suspend button, and we had to press alt modifier to switch to shutdown. Then internet went crazy asking how to shut down GNOME. And so two releases later, GNOME designers reversed that behavior, with shutdown and always visible, and alt modifier would switch to suspend. That wasn't really an improvement, but users had learned about alt modifier key from previous experience, so that change didn't attract much of complaints. Except one case maybe. It was a mother saying she was feeding her kid, so she only had one hand free, and she couldn't use the modifier key. So you see Linus? It wasn't really baby's fault! GNOME 3.24, and we can now long tap to switch on suspend. And a release later in GNOME 3.26, System actions were added on Shell Search, so we could power off or suspend from Shell Overview. In the meantime, there were some additional drama on user menu actions on login and lock screens too. And like all those weren't enough already, we also had the complaints for the lib behavior that we could only change from tweaks. And so we come to today in GNOME 3.36 release, that after 8 years of continuous redesign it finally addresses one of the most stupid issues of Shell. And so we now have all the options presented, both power off and suspend, without needing any tricks. The interface isn't particularly intuitive, but that's work in progress. You can read more on this work at Shell 270 bug report. So this is what we have currently on Master. This is something better! And that is probably my favorite! But on Baby Woke channel we went a step further, and so we have an exclusive interview with the leader GNOME designer about this work! Hello and welcome to Baby Woke channel, it is a great honor! So, can you please tell us where you get the inspiration for this magnificent work? <laughs> What are the major issues with GNOME design that you have to overcome?